We come now down to the edge of the town, just in the shadow of the Cowdery ruins, to a little cottage, laundry cottage, to meet someone whose face many of you I know would recognise. You may recognise his voice, Adrian Hill, who did television sketch tub from 1955 to 1963. Adrian, what brings you down here? When, when did you first come and why? Well, um, it, <laughs> it was very curious because I was um, convalescing after adult chicken pox and um, going around the countryside. I came through Cowdery Park and there I saw a very lovely old oak and I was uh, engaged on writing a book on trees. My wife, who went to the other side of the road, looked down over the country where these ruins are in the distance, the little line of cottages just nestling at their feet. And she turned to me when I looked at it and she said, look at those ruins, aren't they lovely? And I wonder who they belong to. And those cottages, oh, wouldn't I love to have one? Well, the curious thing was that um, within two years, I was in one of those little cottages. So how did you <laughs> get here? I mean, why did you come back to Midhurst? You were only just painting trees. And I then fell foul of this dreary, out-of-date complaint called TB. And um, instead of going to Switzerland, um, I was told that um, Midhurst uh, had a um, a very famous sanatorium there, and I would be, um, I'd be cured if I went there, and so down I came. And you were cured and came uh, to this cottage after? And, uh, indeed, I did. You've been here ever since? Uh, yes, we came here in 1940. Adrian, I know you achieved something in the sanatorium there, nothing to do with your health, just tell us about it, don't be modest. Well, it was only because I was bored, because I was an artist, and I asked whether I could do some drawing. Mm. And when they found that I was very much more docile than <laughs> patients, uh, I asked whether I could get other patients to have a go to. And they did. And they liked it very much. And it did them good. Yes. And so the news spread. And I started it at the Senatoria. And um, with this, I saw that the wall that I'd been staring at was uh, very blank and very empty. And a print on it would be a very good idea. And uh, I wrote a letter to the Times, which they printed. And uh, this came to the notice of Richard Ray Cross. And my idea being to organize a scheme where pictures, or prints rather, were constantly changed and so that the patient uh, could see something and it would uh, bring them into close touch with the artist who did it. And so they would learn a lot about art and it would possibly make them want to draw and paint themselves. Now this started in Midhurst, but it's really spread all around the country now, isn't it? Oh yes, yes, uh, Canada there too, and uh, uh, France and Holland. And what about uh, Sketch Club? Just tell us a bit about that. It seems a long time ago. It was a live uh, program. It was a live program, yes. For children? Yes, for children. I set the subject. I did uh, two or three or four three-minute drawings to show them how they could approach the subject. They, they uh, sent in their their ideas, we gave prizes, I set the next program and so on. So on. You're talking about children, though. In fact, a lot of grown-ups used to watch. Yes, they did. Yes, they did, indeed. Adrian, I'm looking out the window at these ruins. Now, I gather that they were built into the manor house or something. Yes. Built about 1530 and burned That's down right. in 1793. That's right. Now, yes. why was it burned down? Is something to do with the curse? Yes. <laughs> I don't know whether mind is the right one. Uh, that was Anthony Brown, Sir Anthony Brown, the uh, owner, the mass was being um, started before he arrived. He was very, very annoyed that the Mica was doing it. Had him slaughtered on the strip of the altar, and before he died, he cursed the house by fire and water. And certainly the house was burnt down, as you heard, and um, the uh, family were wiped out. Adrian, what do you, <laughs> hey, you <laughs> paint now, Chief? Do you still go on painting your trees? Uh, yes, uh, because uh, I've done four books on trees. <laughs> And the wonderful ones, aren't they? Oh, yes, lovely. In Cowboy Park, there's some superb beaches and plains. We've got the lot. This is Midhurst also has some famous chestnuts. What is it? What is it? Yes, yes, they, they, the chestnuts are all along the roads in some parts of the, the county because of the chestnut fencing, mm. which they go in for, so they're pollarded very quickly. Pollarded, which means what? Well, cut down so that they just uh, um, throw out the, the stems which make the fence. So a lot of fences around the country are made from these oh, yes. from I believe so, yes, I think so. Well, Adrian, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Lovely to see you again and talk to you. We want a piece of music, as you know, in this programme. What are you going to choose? 
Well, I would love to hear the signature tune of my sketch club. I haven't heard it for about 12 years. Oh, Michael, we're trying to get out for it. Sir. They're awfully nice of you. <laughs> Thank you. 